Uh, we know that the police have several times come out to say, hey, we, we, we are on top of the situation. We've you know, mapped out several policies to you know, match these guys, but it doesn't seem to work. Well, um, we, we keep going around in circles about these issues. And um, if I'm a police boss in Lagos, I will be very embarrassed that these are reoccurring incidents because um, these are not um, like an infection or a bacteria. A human being walks up to a vehicle on a traffic and attacks that vehicle, takes away valuables or lives, and walks away. So definitely there is a point where he walks up from, and there is a point where he walks back to, and be in concealment. So if he's not in concealment, then he may need to um, leave that area with the valuables he has taken. So where are his withdrawal routes? You know, so if I really want to do this, I would like to firstly populate the number of street hawkers with concealed agents. If I have like five, six of my agents, both women and men, selling pure water on the road with other hawkers that are normally on the road when the traffic robots roll. And those are the black spots. We all know the black spots. We are populating them every day in our WhatsApp. Then we could also have drivers exposing valuables in traffic that are police officers undercover. You know, so you can call out the attack because you are ready to repel it. So once they are not sure anymore if the street hawker they are seeing is a police officer or if the person in a vehicle they want to attack is an undercover agent, then you will see that they begin to dissipate. Then you also make sure that those that have been arrested get quick judgment. If you give them quick judgment, then the message will be sent back to the others, not media trial. Because all we do in Nigeria currently is media trial. You talk about quick judgment, and every now and then we um, get to see some of these um, uh, perpetrators paraded at the state command and you know charged to court, but we, do, we don't even understand what comes out of that. Isn't that enough? Well, um, when you say justice, you mean the criminal justice system. In the criminal justice system, it starts from apprehension into a judicial process where penalties are ascribed by wherever you have violated the constitution of Nigeria. Then you go into the correctional center. And in the correctional center, you are serving your time. And you come out from the correctional center with a certificate. You know, so that is the criminal justice system. It must be effective in Nigeria. You know, and if we don't put all those kind of things into perspective, we will just have the police working in policing only without commensurate results. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a failed government practice to assign a, a, a hotspot zone to a garden without putting monitoring and supervision. You know, you don't just get give a contract out to someone to put um, gardens and put um, jingles, flowers. There must be lighting in such places. There must be people assigned to take responsibility. Policies are supposed to be police. Then you must have monitoring of such areas and you must assign it. The Nigerian system has not begun to utilize the private security sector. You know, that is a simple assignment for a private licensed security company to ensure that persons that are within such spaces are legitimately coming there to take rest as a guardian. You know, and at night you leave such places and you make sure people don't molest other persons in such places. There is a rule of law that will be spelled out and pasted to the garden wall. You know, so you are there to just have a quiet time and you must be protected. So the government should assign such places under the bridges wherever with appropriate lighting, good flower system, horticulture, fine environment, well kept, 
with security and sign a private security company to monitor it and pay them well. Fantastic, Dr. Wright. Thank you for being part of the program. Yeah, you're welcome. Always a pleasure. Thank you.